Two years ago, in 2018, Johnny and I went on a road trip, an epic road trip, to go see his sister Katie in the Yukon of Canada. I can confirm. Katie is awesome. Yes. Long story short, everything was on fire. It was a whole thing. Ask British Columbia. So, we ended up, by circumstances, finding ourselves in Haines in Alaska, and that's when we said, hey, we can live here. We could. Fast forward to the year 2020, our state of New York is under quarantine and things are not great and then our fierce leader, this guy, famously announces that the state's going to be broken, that they're going to have absolutely no money, especially for education. I'm a teacher. So I decided that it was time to enact this plan that I had. And that plan is right here. Bear with me. Da, da. Alaska? Alaska, a place where you can't be too fat or too drunk, where no one says things like, let's see your high school equivalency certificate. Okay, anyway, it turns out that selling your house and packing all your stuff and getting another job and moving 20, 4,200 miles away from home during a pandemic is really- Super easy, barely an inconvenience. For you. It's really, really complicated. That's what this series is going to be about. And this video is about the one where we plan our route from here in Homer, New York to Anchorage, Alaska. This is the one where we plan our route, Yukon. No, dun dun dun. No. There are a lot of criteria and a lot of stipulations of how we're going to plan this route. Step one, we must follow the law. So national, state, local ordinances all must be followed when it comes to the COVID-19 response. Yes, we can enter Canada and transport ourselves through there, provided that we have the right documentation saying that we absolutely must go there for job reasons. However, we, we can only do it once. So no shortcuts used through Ontario. In addition to that, you can go through the Yukon Territory provided that you enter and exit the Yukon Territory within 24, 24 hours. hours. There's at least 10 hours of driving that you must do in that amount of time. Lodging gets a little bit complicated and difficult because there are certain places where the only thing available to you is camping and other places where the only thing not available to you is camping. Thanks, Canada. So that's the law. Yep. And we plan to follow it while we're traveling. The second consideration is health and safety. I have a medical condition that means it's a bad idea for me to fly, and it's also a bad idea for me to drive over 6,000 feet in elevation. We would prefer to not catch coronavirus on our trip, so we're trying to avoid coronavirus hotspots. And we'd also not like to get mobbed by an angry mob of protesters, so no protester hotspots either. Uh, yeah. And I sort of also have this medical condition where I'm allergic to there possibly being rattlesnakes in my tent. <laughs> no! No snakes! So once you eliminate all of the things that are not legal and are not safe, you are down to two possible options. One route that takes you all the way across the northern shield of Canada through the prairies. and diagonally up to Alaska. The other problem with that route is that it is mind-numbingly boring and they're at really severe risk for chewing off your own face because you're dying of boredom. Instead, we plan to start in Homer, New York, go south through Pennsylvania and the National Park there, cut south around Cleveland, come up through the center of Michigan, across the Mackinac Bridge, into the Upper Peninsula, and then continue directly west through Duluth, Fargo, Bismarck, Great Falls, Montana. After spending a couple of days in beautiful Glacier National Park, we will cross the border into Alberta. Hopefully everything at the border crossing will go well, followed by spending a day at Edmonton, finally visiting a mall, and then we will continue our journey north towards Yukon. Here's where the pacing gets a little bit tricky because of that 24 hour rule. We will overnight in Dawson Creek, then drive to Liard River where the hot springs are, spend a night there, then get up early drive to Whitehorse, overnight in Whitehorse, then get up at the absolute butt crack of dawn and book it towards the Alcon border. Hopefully everything at the border crossing will go well. We'll overnight in talk in Alaska, 
And then we've got one more day of driving until we finally arrive in our new home in Anchorage. 14 days and we will have made it. Done and done. And provided that nothing's on fire, it'll go great. To find out how it goes, like, subscribe, comment, enjoy our channel. You come